good morning everybody and welcome to my channel um today i am going to be doing a story time and i'm going to be talking about how i found out i was pregnant i actually found out that i was pregnant on september 17th of 2020 um i had actually been sick working because i was a home health aide and all of a sudden everything smelled disgusting everything i looked at bothered me um the things that i would normally be able to eat just all of a sudden i couldn't eat them and i just knew that something just wasn't right so i finally one morning was just throwing up throwing up throwing up and i was like i'm going to the hospital so so i called my job and let them know i was going to the hospital first i went from going to the hospital to then talking to my mom and telling them that i wasn't feeling well so um you know we're in the midst of covid and everything right now so my mom's like no don't go to the hospital there's so many people going on in the hospital um you'll have less chance of being exposed if you just go to walk-in clinic so then i was like yeah you're right okay let me just go to walk-in trying to go to walk-in that was a big headache because again so much covid stuff going on um the, the certain walk-ins were testing certain walk-ins were just for um results so that just wind up turning to be into an even bigger headache and i was like just forget it i'm going to the hospital like i'm just i'm going i don't feel well i'm going to the hospital anybody that truly knows me knows how much i hate going to the hospital so again, once I got to the hospital, of course my boyfriend couldn't go inside with me because again, at the time that was their COVID rules going on and I had to go in by myself. So as I go inside, um, they did my temperature check, they did my weight, blah, blah, blah. And they're asking me, you know, what's going on, how I'm feeling and what's causing all this. So I'm telling them I'm having stomach pains, I'm not being able to keep anything down. Um, and that all of a sudden, like I'm throwing up a lot. So they asked me, well, are you sure you're not pregnant? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. And there's no way I could be pregnant. Like, mm -mm, I'm not pregnant. That's not a worry. <laughs> so they're like, okay, well, we're going to take blood work. We're going to do ultrasounds. Um, and then they thought that maybe it could be kidney stones. So I'm like, I've never had that problem before either. But I can tell you something's wrong. I don't know what it is, but let's figure it out. Well, in the midst of us, figuring it out at the hospital we come to find out long behold yes i am pregnant so when she said that i went maybe you guys have it mixed up with the wrong patient can you guys do it again so she was like you're the only one here but sure so they did it again again it came back positive so i said let's just do it one more time to be sure <laughs> so the lady was like ma'am we're absolutely sure that this is your information blah 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 i was like let's just do it one more time please just one more time so i'm trying to call my boyfriend who's now outside in the car as i'm figuring out and finding out that i'm six weeks pregnant his phone's dead and he can't come inside of the hospital as i'm finding out all of this so i'm completely in shock the third one comes back i'm pregnant so as i'm waiting for them to come back with the ultrasound the first thing my mind does is goes, okay, I have to talk to someone. Like, this this is just, I'm in shock. So I'm like, I can't call my parents yet because my first thing is like, no, I am not telling them yet. Like, no. So I call my best friend and I'm like, bro, I'm in the hospital and they're telling me I'm pregnant. And it was just like dead silence. And we both looking at each other like, what so we waiting for the lady to come back in with the ultrasound she begins to do the ultrasound i'm on facetime with my best friend and long behold my little cheeky cheeky is in my belly and i just cried i was so stunned because i was so sure that i was not i got a chance to see the baby on the ultrasound but being that again all the covid stuff was happening and going on i wasn't able to get any pictures to be able to show him because again 
my boyfriend's in the car and he has absolutely no idea on what's going on or any of the information that I found out. All they gave me was a sheet of paper saying the date, how far along I am, and that my expected due date is April 30th. So I get in the car and I just hand him the paper. So he's like, what's this? This is your prescription? I'm like, yeah, we gotta go pick up a prescription. That ain't just no prescription. So he turns and looks at me like, what? You just got a stomach bug, right? I'm like, yeah, I got a stomach bug, all right? <laughs> a growing stomach bug. So he goes, what do you mean a growing stomach bug? So he looks down at the paper and his mouth drops. So he's like, babe, stop playing. And I'm like, I'm not playing. So he was like, are they sure? I was like, I made them test me three times. And he was like, so you're really pregnant? I was like, according to this paperwork, I am. He was like, so why, why, what's been wrong? And I was like, according to them, I'm experiencing morning sickness. And boy, did I experience morning sickness. For the first three months of my pregnancy, I threw up every single day. Food, drinks, whatever. Every single day. But that's how I found out that I was pregnant. Complete shock thinking that I had a stomach bunk <laughs> to go to the hospital to find out no it's not a stomach bug and I'm six weeks pregnant so yes guys that's how I found out that I was pregnant by just going to the hospital thinking that I had a stomach bug and I have a growing baby inside of me um we were completely in shock we just knew for a fact that I wasn't pregnant that was the last thing on our minds um but we're both extremely excited we're ready to see the baby and we're ready to find out what i'm having i don't find out until the day after christmas because i'm having a gender reveal but on our next story time i'll tell you guys how i told my parents that i was pregnant don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on story time with sj